why in this video we're going to be putting down some gripper or tack strip. Um, we're going to start on a room and later in the video we're going to be moving on to some stairs. So this gripper has three different features. It has really sharp spikes and everyone knows about those spikes. It has these ringed nails for wood floors and as you can see it has a chamfer right here. So that chamfer is where the carpet fits and tucks behind. All right, that is flat to fit up underlay against it and that has a chamfer. As you can see with this gripper it has writing on it and that's the way it should be arranged around the room that you can always read the writing that way you know you've got it the right way around. The tools you need is a nice pot of ringed nails these are ringed so they go into wood and hold fast you need a nice sharp pair of gripper cutters or you can even use saccateurs from the garden. You need a nice meaty hammer, not a sledgehammer, that's a bit overkill. And what I've made here is a spacer. So I've got a piece of gripper and I've placed another piece of gripper on it and I've banged the nails down so I can hold it with the top bit and that will space, give me the exact space I need behind the gripper for the carpet to tuck. Now it's about 5mm, depending on the carpet, I mean if you get a thicker carpet you want it slightly further away to give you more room to tuck but it's on the whole about 5mm but if you use a piece of gripper like this it will, you know you can't go wrong really so it's a handy tool to gauge the distance So now on to cutting around the frames. So you're off right up, and you're gonna get your cutters, and you wanna cut it so it's really quite close. So you wanna cut an angle. Can you get it in there? Yep. You wanna cut an angle off the end. All right, so you've got that nice angle and it butts up lovely. And then you wanna put your finger to gauge where the end of the frame is. And luckily we've got one nail already there. So we'll bang that one down. But because it can pivot on that nail, we want to put another one in so it doesn't move. And then we'll take our spacer and check it. Yeah. So you've got that same gap all the way around. On to the other side. Up, gauge it with our finger, slice it off, make sure you've got that little gap to the left, so the inner corner. I'll show you that in a minute, but because we only had one now, we put in a couple extras in, make sure it's nice and solid, get rid of any debris. So we're going to cut this one on an angle like we did last one. Just watch out for the pin that doesn't break your cutters. So same as the one of the other side. Just gauge it with your finger. Cut it off. Make sure you put two nails in it. So it doesn't move. Alright, now the 
let's have a look at this corner. Might need a piece of grubber down. sure that you can read the gripper it's all faced in the same way um, make sure that you if you need to use the spacer and just follow the, all the way around the room if you want to skip this bit of the video um, and go to where I start talking about the stairs then that continues at 7 13. So with the stairs, we measure the width of these stairs and we take away a centimeter. So we have five mil on the side to tuck carpet. So what I like to do is I like to find a bit of cardboard or piece of paper so I can write down all the sizes so I can cut all the pieces of gripper in a separate room. So I'm not carrying gripper up and down the stairs trying to cut the group on the stairs. So I'll take a measurement of this piece for the winder and what I'll do is I will have um, an inch off of this. So I'm going to take an inch, not a, not a centimetre, it's going to be an inch because, or four, four centimetres, because you will turn and attack these edges on the sides, or one inch on the side actually. So the gripper has to be an inch off on the winders. And I'm just going down and measuring all of them, deducting an inch, writing it all down. So now I've got my list of all my different sizes. I'm gonna measure off some skirting or off some boards like hard, and I'm gonna draw a line at all the different measurements of the stairs, of the winders, and I'm gonna mark on the floor. So now I can push the gripper against that side that I measured from and put it up to the pencil lines and that gives me exactly the right size to cut for the gripper. And you keep doing that and I can even write on the floor how many lengths of gripper I need at each length. And obviously every step you would need two pieces of grip around, one for the tread and one for the riser.
<laughs> so, as I said, each step needs two pieces of gripper. One for the tread, which is the bit you step on, and one for the riser, piece at the back. So I've spread them all out, put them back where they uh, all go, and it's time to smack them on with a hammer. So on the sides, you need to leave your 5mm gap, and at the back, it's more like a 10 mil gap and this is the first step so the first step which will have two pieces of cut carpet tucking in it will only need a 10 mil gap so that's five mil for each piece of carpet that is cut to go into So as you can see, the gripper is facing towards you so you can read it. Now the riser is the opposite way. Now this riser is made with solid wood so it's very easy to nail. Um, if it's made with ply, which some of them are, you probably want to use a stable gun and take the nails out. So this top step will start from the top and be poked into the bottom and cut. And then this is a winder which will go and be cut into there and down onto that piece. And it'll be all done all individually. A straight runner stairs will be done in one piece. But we'll talk about that in a bit. same distance we need on this winder because like I said before you need about 10 mil to allow for two pieces of cut carpet when I say cut carpet well, I'll explain that in a minute when I'm talking about straight runner stairs So to finish the winder we would need to put some gripper on the sides because it's quite a big expanse we put a nice piece of gripper along the edge so we can tuck a carpet up it and that'll be the 5mm same as the spacer and for the other side just put a little bit on the mill post the mill post is the piece of wood that connects the handrail. Now to the straight flight of stairs that I was talking about earlier. So when you have stairs that are just straight, no winders, and it's gonna be one piece of carpet going from the top where it's cut, it's going to come down, it's going to go into the crease, and it's going to come back out, and go down to the next step, and then down to the next step. Right? You have the piece of gripper, right? almost the thickness of the gripper. So you can fit your, definitely your finger right in. It's actually almost the size, the actual width of the piece of gripper. And that is to allow the carpet to go in and then come back out. It's the widest bit of gripper you ever put anywhere. So when you have a piece of carpet that flows in and then comes back out but not cut, 
you allow it, almost thickness of the gripper, top and bottom. And just to recap, this is where we put the 10 mil gap or the 3 eighths gap on the winders and the top step. And on this riser, you can see I've left that, that's the inch piece that's short. So when we're fitting the carpet, the carpet tucks right around and fits underneath the carpet by an inch. If you're getting all confused with this, don't worry. My next episode will be underlaying these stairs and the room, and the episode after that will be fitting the carpet. Now, the one before this was actually measuring up. So if you want to watch from beginning to end, then make sure you're subscribed, click the bell for notifications for when I upload my next videos, and I'll see you soon. Thank you.